All right, a good evening, Arkansas. This is Assistant Chief Forecaster Cameron back here once again. I'm here to give you guys your morning forecast update for today, along with um, a tropical update regarding to Invest 99L here, guys, because we just got some um, brand new information uh, from the National Hurricane Center here. So I'm going to go over that here just a little bit. But right now, um, just looking at temperatures here, I'm going to kind of zoom this over so you guys can see Arkansas. We've got 79 degrees in Hot Springs right now. We've got 73 in Camden. we got 75 in the metro at this current time here, 73 in El Dorado, 72 in uh, Mina at this point, 79 in Fayette, uh, excuse me, in Fort Smith, 70 degrees up there in Fayetteville at this point, 73 in Jonesboro um, as well here. So guys, uh, more the same for today. Um, hot, humid conditions here. We do have a couple of heat advisors. I'm gonna go over after. Um, I'm gonna go over after the tropical update. Um, so just keep that in mind. 105 to 110 um, heat index is more the same. Uh, stay hydrated. Limit your time outdoors and stay cool, guys. There could be some afternoon pop-up thunderstorms. Not expecting any sort of severe weather or anything like that. A few storms um, may be loud when they're getting going. Some areas may see rainfall while others won't here. So just keep that in mind for today. If you see a thunderstorm, do not assume that it's going to be severe. We're not expecting severe weather for today here, guys. I want to be 100% clear on that. A strong thunderstorm could be possible, but I'm not expecting any sort of severe weather, guys, and it's going to be hit and miss. Some areas will see a thunderstorm, while other areas be, will be hot and dry uh, for what's that here. So, that being said, as you guys, you can probably tell by my voice, and I'm about, about as anxious as I can uh, get. Let's talk about Invest 99L at this point. So, tracking the tropics here. Let's talk about Invest 99L in the Caribbean here. So we've got a special update uh, for the National Hurricane Center here, guys. And I, I have it on a different screen, so I'm going to read to you guys uh, this information here. So first and foremost, this is a special tropical weather outlook uh, for the National Hurricane Center. This goes strictly for Invest 99L. Shower and thunderstorm activity continues to become more, um, continues to become better organized in association of an upper level trough. I mean, excuse me, association of a trough of low pressure located less than 200 miles south of Jamaica. Environmental conditions remain conducive for development in a tropical depression or storm. There's a possibility that this may go straight into a named tropical storm, which will be granted the name of Ida um, over the next, um, I would say, 12 to 24 hours here. So just keep that in mind. Um, it's expected to form later today or tomorrow. This system is forecast to move northwestern into the northwestern Caribbean Sea near the Cayman Islands late tonight or near Cuba and in, or in the Yucatan Peninsula on, uh, in, of Mexico on Friday and into the Gulf of Mexico by the weekend. Given the recent development trends, tropical storm warnings for the Cayman Islands and tropical storm watches for western Cuba could be required later today here, guys. Regardless of development, this is where it gets extremely important here, guys. This is where I need you guys to listen up. Regardless of development, locally heavy rainfall and flooding will be possible over Jamaica and the Cayman Islands today and tonight, and likely we're spraying into Cuba and the Yucatan Peninsula on Friday. In addition, this system could bring dangerous impacts from storm surge, wind, and heavy rainfall to portions of the coast of Louisiana, Texas, and the Mexican states of Tupelo's late this weekend into early next week. However, uncertainty remains large since the system has yet to form. Let me repeat that. Uncertainty remains large since the system has yet to form as of yet. Right now, you're looking at it on our satellite imagery here, guys, and it looks like a full-blown tropical storm at this point. It looks very healthy. Wouldn't be shocked this thing become a tropical depression or a storm by the time we get towards this afternoon, if that happens, we'll keep you guys updated on that. But as I said before, um, interest in these areas should closely monitor the progression of this system and ensure that they have their hurricane plan in place. We're talking Louisiana and we're talking Texas. Those are the areas that we are monitoring at this point for the potential of impacts from this tropical system here, guys. Um, an Air Force Reserve Reconnaissance Aircraft is scheduled to investigate the system later today. So keep that in mind. We should have a better idea on what to expect by the time we get towards later today. Derek will have your uh, PM forecast out for today, and he'll give you guys the latest information on what to expect with Invest 99L here. So um, additional information in this system uh, can be found with the high seas forecast, etc. Formation chance over the next 48 hours. 
90%. Formation chance over the next five days, 90% here, guys. So, with that being said, this is the area that we are looking for the potential of a development of, of, of a developing system here. So, we're talking from the leeward, uh, excuse me, from Cuba and the Cayman Islands over towards the Yucatan Peninsula. This is the area that we're monitoring very closely uh, for the potential of tropical development over the next, I would say, 12, 24 to 48 hours. Beyond this point, this is where it becomes interesting for us here in Arkansas. What happens with this system? Wall-to-wall -wall computer model guidance, if you are a weather enthusiast and you watch the computer model guidance from overnight, they have shifted east, but I want to be 100% clear before anyone drops their guard because it looks like it's shifting eastward. Models are going off of an undeveloped system. It has not even developed a center of low pressure yet. So models are creating their own center of low pressure and they're forcing a track. That's what's going on at this point. Until we get an aircraft down there, until we get a defined area of low pressure, I would not trust a single model at this point. Right now, what we're going off of here in Arkansas Weather Watchers is the upper level setup. Ridge to the east, ridge to the west, trough to the north. This system will likely track through the weakness between the two ridges that's going to set up in the southeast and the southwest, and that could lead to a Texas or Louisiana landfall. Strength, impacts, storm surge, isolated tropical tornadoes, etc. remains to be seen. If you see anyone suggesting that this is going to be a Category 5 monster making a landfall on the Texas and Louisiana coast, you need to ignore them right now. Okay, I'm not trying to be that guy that's uh, saying just let your guard down and, and whatever. It's not going to be a big deal. But there's so much uncertainty with this system right now that we cannot accurately tell you what's going to happen. Okay, So just keep that in mind if you're on Facebook or on Twitter. Use trusted and reliable sources. Us here at Arkansas Weather Watchers, Paul, Ryan Vaughn, he's a great guy. Um, Paul, the weather guru, and Zachary Hall. Those guys, trusted, reliable sources, guys. Use those guys. They will help you um, be prepared for this system here. Just keep that in mind whenever you see that on Facebook here, guys. And you guys know us as well. We will keep you guys updated um, on this situation. But there's going to be a lot of information coming to you guys this way over the next 48 hours here. So if you know someone that's not getting our notifications or not seeing our posts or anything like that, tell them to check the page frequently. I cannot stress that enough. Uh, check the page frequently. We're going to have updates coming to you guys left and right over the next couple of days here. So with that being said, I think I've chewed you guys um, head off a lot about Invest99L. Let's talk about what's going to be happening um, at home here. So first and foremost, let's talk about this. We have a couple of heat advisories in the Fed for today for, central, for South Central Arkansas and Southeast Arkansas and Western Arkansas. These areas could see heat in excess of 105 to 110 mainly um, in, in the, near the Fort Smith area, towards Arkadelphia, towards Camden, towards Lake Village and Cross it, towards uh, Stuttgart and DeWitt here. So keep this in mind, stay hydrated, limit your time outdoors, and stay cool, guys. We cannot stress that enough. We could see some isolated thunderstorms during the afternoon. Not everyone's going to see the rainfall. It's just going to be your, your typical summertime pop-up thunderstorms where some areas may see a good amount of rain, while other areas may not even see a drop. Uh, for tonight here. So just keep that in mind for this afternoon. The severe weather threat is very low, 0% for today. We do not have a severe threat uh, for today here. I can't rule out an isolated strong storm or two uh, thrown out, but I'm not expecting a lot of severe weather uh, for today here. So that being said, here's your morning regional outlook for today here, guys. Temperatures in the mid to upper 90s. Heat index is 105 to 110, especially in the heat of heat. Um, excuse me, heat indexes, not heat advisories, heat indexes of 105 to 110 in the heat advisory areas from western Arkansas to south central Arkansas to southeast Arkansas for today. Overnight lows tonight in the 70s here. So we'll continue to keep you guys updated right here on your source for all things Arkansas weather.